good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hey guys, if you're new here, this is Sally and I'm Ed. And at the moment we're traveling overland from Sydney to London. So far we've made it 15,000 kilometers. And we're currently in Xi'an, which is the ancient capital of China. So we've decided to start today's video off by visiting what is probably the most popular tourist destination in all of Xi'an. Well, not even just the most popular tourist destination, just like the most popular thing to do in Xi'an, and that is visiting the Terracotta Warriors. was super easy. We got tourist bus number five, which leaves from Shan Railway Station and costs seven yuan per person. The price to get in is about 150 yuan, which is $40 or so, give or take, Australian. It's 10 o'clock, it's already packed. Our advice would be to get here even a little bit earlier, just to avoid the crowds. <laughs> Warriors, thousands of individual handcrafted statues that originally made to accompany China's very first emperor into the afterlife. And the crazy part is they lay hidden underground for 2,000 years until 1974 when they were accidentally discovered by farmers digging a well. Finding the Terracotta Warriors was one of the greatest discoveries of the 20th century. And it is still to this day considered one of the most incredible archaeological sites in the world. Archaeological? Archaeological? Archaeological still considered one of the most incredible archaeological sites in the world. Whoa, that is a mouthful. So there are three main pits at Emperor, Emperor Qingxi Hong Masuleum site. I just read it off the ticket. I don't know, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But there are three main sites. The first one is behind us, and that's the one that houses the main bulk of the Terracotta Warriors. The second two pits hold a mixture of like bronze statues and pottery and clay broken statues of horses and stuff. Yeah, they're much smaller. It's all yeah. very cool to see though. It is scorching hot though, so if you can come in the morning, I would definitely do that because it's about 1 p.m. and it is so bright. We are melting. Anyway, we're off to the Great Wall of Xi'an. So we've just arrived at the Xi'an city wall and we're currently standing outside of the south gate, which is the most grand of the four major gates. To get here was super easy. We took metro line number two to Yongning Ang Station. You take exit A and the escalator will take you up to the gardens, which are located just outside the front of the south gate, which is where we currently are. And to get inside, tickets are 54 yuan, which is about $10. So the wall behind me is huge. It stands about 12 meters tall and 14 meters wide at the top. There are four major gates, north, south, east, and west, as well as a series of smaller ones. So there are 18 gates in total. Like Sally said, the south gate where we are now is the most grand. It's got like a little welcome area at the front and it's perfect. <laughs> It dates back to the 11th century BC. Now to give you guys some perspective, Australia was only colonized 230 years ago, which makes this wall over 10 times the age of colonial Australia. It's pretty old. Yeah. A really interesting thing about the wall is that because it's been such like an important structural piece in Xi'an, it's actually been updated and remodeled and restructured three or four times throughout its history. It's most recent is the 70s. So although it is such an old wall in its core, the outside of it, like, it almost looks a little bit modern. So probably the most popular way to get around the entire wall, because it is 13 kilometers the whole way around, is actually to hire a bike. If you did want to hire a bike, it's 45 UN for 180 minutes, and it's probably the fastest way to see the wall. So another easy way to get around the wall is through golf cart. This is a pretty good way actually. There's like wind blowing through my hair as you can see. Mm -hmm. And we're a little bit in the shade which is quite nice. 
there's obviously no shade on the top of the wall. So if it's 35 degrees like it is today, it's very hot. Golf cart's the way to go. <laughs> So the golf carts are such an easy way to get around. It is three and a half kilometers almost between each gate. So unless you're willing to walk or ride the bike, the golf carts are probably your best bet. It's 30 UN per stop or 120, because it's four stops, the whole way around. Also, pro tip, at the east gate in the morning, all the tourist buses come. So I would start at the south gate. So you avoid all the tourist buses, because when you get to the east gate and it's, you know, Half an hour after it's opened, check it out, it's busy. Alrighty guys, straight up honesty here. We're not really sure what's going on over here. We just walked past and people are like drinking this wine and smashing plates. It's just one of those things where like, when you're in a city and you just don't, or somewhere you've never been and you just don't understand, but you wanna do it. And I'm like, whether we can, or I don't know whether we'll be allowed. But if we are, I definitely want to go smash some plates. We're going to go try and smash some plates now. Let's do it. Because why not? When in China. <laughs> right. Hold it. Okay. I don't know. Smells funny. Smells. Like vinegar. <laughs> this is the strange thing. Okay, you ready? I didn't drink it up. That was random. That was so strange. What? Yeah, it was like some sweet wine, wine maybe. I don't know. And people are just like necking them out of the bowls and then smashing them. If you know what that was, please let us know. <laughs> hey, 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 oh, I love it. Hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh. Hey! 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 So this place has been such a nice surprise. We basically just left the wall and we were just walking down the street and we stumbled across this amazing market. I don't even really know where we are, but so far we've drunk wine and smashed a plate into a big pile of other plates. And Ed was lucky enough to just smash some mashed potato with a sledgehammer. And now we're gonna eat some. Hopefully this wasn't the one that was mixed outside. <laughs> Okay, what? <laughs> so it's like cold mashed potato with sugar syrup and sesame seeds. I actually thought it was applesauce when I started eating it. That was the most bizarre combination of foods I've ever encountered. If this was probably mashed with a sledgehammer, I am curious. It smells sweet. Cold mashed potato with some sort of syrup and sesame seeds. Who'd have thought? What a great idea. So that was such a nice little surprise. This was not in our plan for the day. We got to smash plates and... Um, smash potatoes smash with a sledgehammer. Yep. Basically today, we really didn't know what was going on with that rice wine thing, but we just kind of went along with it because yeah. Why not? So let us know in the comments below, have you ever been traveling or have you ever been in another place where maybe something was going on and you weren't really sure what it was, but you just really wanted to be a part of it? Hello! <laughs> let us know in the comments below because we'd, we'd love to hear from you guys. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, All answer the stuff. questions in the comments. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. We will see you in the next video. Recording. We're recording. Cool. We're recording. Yeah. Well.